all of you to imagine nine-year-old Arnia, a girl with short brown curly hair, hazel green eyes, and a smile you just can't seem to wipe off her face. I was often told I'm always happy, I always smile, or that I generally just have a positive attitude. And looking back, I love being called all of those things. Because think about it. What's wrong with someone who's always happy and smiling? <laughs> Nothing really, besides possibly being naive enough to believe that everyone in this world does what they do with good intentions and never bad ones. The story I'm about to tell you, the story I'm about to share with you really changed the way I view life. Now, nine-year-old Arnia was also very competitive, whether it came to schoolwork or even playing sports. She was so competitive that she would race her brother to the door after every single time her mom or dad parked the car in the garage. Now, this race happened so often, it became a ritual. It would happen every single time. We, every, time every single time we'd come back, whether that be from dinner, from school, a visit to grandma's house, or wherever else we were earlier that day. Saturday, July 7, 2007. It was just an ordinary night. We had gotten back home, and my dad parked the car in the garage. My brother and I sprinted towards the door, and guess what? Arnia won. I know, I know, such a shocker. <laughs> but as soon as I tried to open the door, it wouldn't open, no matter how hard I tried. My brother's looking at me, thinking I'm pulling a prank, but I was completely serious. The door appeared to be locked shut. And being the kind person I am, I told my brother I'd willingly pass him my victory if he could open the door. He tried, and he too was unsuccessful. Hmm. This was when we were both confused, and we went back to our dad and asked for help. And once he couldn't open our door either, my mom had an instinct and said, let's just get back into the car right now. I feel like there's someone in there that locked the door. And sure enough, she was right. We instantly called the police and summoned help. Situated in the driveway, we patiently waited for the police to arrive, and catch the suspect who we believed was in the house. As the minutes rolled by, we were fearful that the suspect could come out, could be armed, and could come out and harm us. But after repeated calls to the Los Angeles Police Department, three police cars arrived in front of our house about an hour after our first call. The policemen broke the entry door and stormed into our house, hoping to catch the suspect. But once they came out, we were told that the suspect had fled the premises from the back door and through the golf course our house was situated above. Now going back into our house was a huge challenge for my family, but especially for me. I was so young, so harmless, so innocent. I had not been exposed to evil in life. So walking back into my room after this terrible incident and seeing my bed lift, my drawers open, my window shattered, is just a moment that will forever be seared in my memory. I felt as if the privacy of our house was invaded. And although my parents lived there since they were married, and we were all extremely attached to it, my parents decided that it would be within all of our best interest if we would move into a new home. Within a couple months of this incident, we moved to a neighboring property in a gated community. The full-time security and patrol vehicles gave us that sense of comfort and security that helped ease our transition towards our normal life again. This specific incident changed the way I view life and what I value as important. I was no longer attracted to tangible goods because I realized that they're always replaceable. Instead, I was able to turn this negative point in my life into a positive by switching gears and truly appreciating all the intangibles that life has to offer. Conversations with my parents, visiting my grandparents, hanging out with friends, are just a few examples of what began to have a greater meaning in my life. I will forever cherish the bonds I have created and will continue to develop with my friends and family because I realize that no matter what, they are irreplaceable. Shiloh Harris, a wounded warrior from our military, once said, Sometimes, oh, everything in your life is a gift. Sometimes it may not be the gift you want, but
but you realize that your challenges are significant. 